Hey, welcome back to Baird Squid. On this channel, we do math tutorials as well as simplifying education technologies teaching with the iPad. Now, in today's video, I want to show you how to use a video whiteboard, okay, or overhead projector to demonstrate a more practical lesson. In this pandemic, a lot of institutions are forced to move online. Both students and teachers are learning through virtual means. And so sometimes it, it may be a case where just setting up a video isn't enough. What you need is a physical demonstration. You need to have a practical demonstration of what you're trying to teach the students. And so an overhead projector can be very useful. Now, the app that I'm going to be sharing with you is called Whiteboard. I'll put the link in the description below. Uh, this is the app here. And what it shows, it uses the iPad's camera to show whatever you've displayed at the bottom. So I'm going to give you a couple of demonstrations, a few examples on what you could use this for, okay? And then really just try to explore the app um, to your heart's content and try to make it fit with whatever syllabus or curriculum or whatever lesson you're trying to put together, whether it's a practical lesson or using a video um, presentation whiteboard. Okay, so I'm going to start off with a basic application here with the calculator. Now you can see that from the board here, we can change the exposure. Okay, so if it was too dark, you can brighten it up to change the exposure so that students can see whatever you're demonstrating. I think I'm going to stick with maybe there. And you can also set the focus. So if you press this button here, it will start uh, focusing for you. Now I'll show you how to use these tools. Before we do that, I just want to zoom in a little bit here. Here we go. So now the students can see what you're doing when you start recording this. Okay. So I'm just going to set this up without recording, but I'm just going to show you what I'm doing here. So as in the example, you can see I've done um, uh, a fraction here on the calculator. Okay. I've done 25 divided by, let's just say divided by six, uh, press enter. You can see the answer is 25 over six. But what if I want to show that as a decimal? So on this particular calculator, I need to press on menu. Okay, this button here. And this is where the beauty of the app shines now. Because look, I can go on an animation. I can go to annotate, sorry. And I can highlight this or put a box around it. I can even use an arrow. Okay, so I can come here and say, because you need to press on that as an arrow. Now, when I pinch and zoom, when I go back to the hand tool, when I pinch and zoom, the annotation sticks with the image. Can you see that? Even though that this is a video, look, it's a video, that, that annotation is going to stick with it. So I'm telling the students, first step, press on menu. And then I can go down here and I can say, look, second step, I want you to press on number. And I can annotate that. Okay. You can say, here, look. So press a number. Let's come down here and press a number. And then option one which is convert to decimal. So if you press on enter now, look, at the same time, I can pinch to zoom and show the students, hey, I'm going to press on enter. So I'm going to press on enter right here. So if I press on enter, it says, so remember, you always go back to the hand motion and I've got answer to decimal. And if I press enter again, it shows me that 25 over 6 is equal to 4.1666 recurring. So in that demonstration, you can see that I can pinch to zoom. I can also annotate on the screen and it will glue, it will stick to that part of the image. Okay, check this out. Look, I can keep this going. And that is a very, very clever way of using a whiteboard or digital whiteboard where I can annotate and keep the annotations with the actual image. Now, let's use a different example. Let me just clear this out. Okay, or I could just clear it all. Okay, you click here and you can clear all, or you can use the eraser tool. Sometimes it's easier just to clear all. Okay, I'm going to move the calculator out of the way, and I'm going to show uh, this shape here, okay? So let me just zoom into it. Maybe set the exposure again so I can maybe brighten this up a little bit. Uh, perhaps I'm teaching students about uh, 3D shapes, okay, or maybe the bird's eye view, a plane, a side view, an elevation, maybe something to do with design technology or um, architecture, whatever it is, whatever your lesson is, be creative. So here I'm going to show this shape and I'm going to say uh, this is a top view. I can write here top view. And I want students to see what this looks as a side elevation. Maybe I can draw this. I can draw the net or the top view, uh, the image for the top view. And I can say to them, what do, what do you think? Look, even if I pinch to zoom now, check this out. 
I pinch to zoom, it creates more space here. And I can say, what do you think the side elevation should look like? Okay. And I'll say the side elevation. What should the side elevation look like? And then if I move the shape to the side, they can see a side elevation. And then I could go ahead and draw that. Now I've got two views. I've got a side side view and I've got a top, top elevation. Maybe I want to look at the bottom or I want to look at the back. Okay, so I can hold it there. That would be my back. I can draw that. Okay, so look at this, yeah. This is brilliant, isn't it? I've got the top view, side view, back view of this image here, and I could even place it back in. And because it doesn't matter if I pinch and zoom, this annotation will be the same size as the shape, okay? Because I've drawn it using the shape. And it's always good to go back to the hand tool because I'm making some little scribbles here whenever I touch. So I'm going to stick with the hand tool. So top view, I could place it back in the top view. I could place it in the side view. I can put it in the back view, whatever view I want. So that's an interesting sort of uh, schematics of this shape. Okay, we're showing the shape maybe in a design class. And it's very useful to have this practical demonstration. So this app allows you to do that. Let's clear this out. And let's see a different demonstration. Actually, the reason I put this video together is there was a, a comment on one of the Facebook feeds that I follow. And this te teacher was asking about, oh, how do you, I want to show rotation. Okay. Um, how can I show rotation? So here's an example where I'm going to do rotation here. Let's get rid of these shapes. So the question is, it says, rotate counterclockwise 90 degrees about the origin. So here's my tracing paper. And if I get myself a pen here, let's adjust this down. Okay, so now I need to do counterclockwise rotation. Um, here's my origin. I can draw the shape. I need to go anti-clockwise, 90 degrees. So if I hold that point there, there. There we go, that's 90 degrees counterclockwise. Now I don't need to draw on this, I can just draw on the whiteboard. So let's do this here. There we go. So if that's the object, then my image has been rotated 90 degrees anti-clockwise, okay, or counterclockwise. So um, a couple of demonstrations there. Let's do a few more. Let's clear this out then clear all. Okay, so maybe this is an art class and you're critiquing someone's work and you want to annotate uh, and show a live demonstration of some of this work, okay? So I've got this here. Instead of writing on someone's work, I can annotate on the screen. So let's come over here. I can adjust the size of this, adjust the opacity and the color. Uh, I'm going to just stick with, um, I'll just stick with red and the smallest size, okay? So what I want to do is I want to pinch and zoom, come into maybe this pizza, and then some annotate on this shape. Now, what's brilliant is when I do, like I said, when I do annotate on this shape, okay, we can look at the different uh, shapes that this is made out of. So I can do a triangle. Uh, we can do the circles, okay, maybe an arc, okay, and we can annotate all of these. So I want to have a green arrow. We can call that arc. And then Let's have maybe a blue arrow, call that the triangle. Now, when I pinch to zoom, as long as I keep this sheet of paper here, I can go around and look at other shapes. Where else can you see triangles, guys? Can you see triangles anywhere else? Oh, what about the unicorn? Okay, there's a, there's a triangle here on the unicorn. So we could go ahead and this triangle here so it could be like uh, looking for shapes or whatever the case may be whatever your lesson is this is a demonstration on how to use an overhead projector um, or a digital whiteboard a video whiteboard so I'm just going to show you how we can record this then so I've set up my activity and all I need to do is start pressing record now it's the record is started it gives you a little timestamp here Okay, it's been five seconds into the recording and I can continue to narrate my um, story or give instructions for this activity and the mics on the iPad will pick up 
um, the audio okay again you can plug in a set of headphones uh, sorry a microphone most headphones have that little in inline mic okay that's quite useful or maybe put put in a lavalier if you don't have any of that stuff that's okay just uh, the ipad mics are perfectly fine to be honest um <laughs> i'm saying that and i've i've put on my uh dynamic mic here so i could block out all of this external noise actually tell me how this sounds because yeah, i find it just cl clumsy moving it up and down but i think the audio would probably sound better using this it's been recording for a minute and 13 seconds i can pause the recording maybe i want to change out the activity so i want to change this out and bring in something else okay maybe i want to show a tessellation okay so oh i want to clear out the uh the pizza or i can keep the pizza there maybe show a tessellation let's clear it out for now uh i can play i can unpause it okay so resume it and maybe i can draw a tessellation here yeah so maybe just draw a tessellation uh, red's not a good color because it's on a red background okay not much of a tessellation when you're doing a rectangle but or there's not much of a challenge in doing <laughs> tessellating a rectangle but you get the idea yeah I think the use of the application is infinite. You can, you know, just be creative in your discovery of how you can uh, manipulate your activity to be used as an overhead projector. Maybe it takes you several years back when we were in the classroom and our teachers were using uh, OHPs. I particularly remember the, the geography teacher showing uh, different terrains, mountains and so on and such forth. So if you found that helpful, please like, please subscribe and turn on notifications. A lot of teachers are trying to upskill at this uh, in this time of the pandemic. And the truth is, if you don't share content like this, it goes um, undiscovered. I hope that it helps my colleagues and other educators and creators out there. Please share on your social media. And until next time, I'll see you in the next one.